Lord Loss by Darren Shan. Book One The Demonata. Read by Rupert Degas. Lord Loss sows all the sorrows of the world. Lord Loss seeds the grief starched trees. In the center of the web, lowly Lord Loss bows his head. Mangled hands, naked eyes, fanged snakes, his soul line, curled inside like textured sin, bloody, curdled sheets for skin. In the center of the web, vile Lord Loss torments the dead. Over strands of red, Lord Loss crawls, dispensing pain, despising all, shuns friends, nurtures foes, ravages hope, breeds woe, drinks moons, devours sons, twirls his thumbs, till the reaper comes. In the center of the web, lush Lord Loss is all that's left. Rat Guts Double history on a Wednesday afternoon. Total nightmare. A few minutes ago, I would have said I couldn't imagine anything worse. But when there's a knock at the door, and it opens, and I spot my mum outside, I realise life can always get worse. When a parent turns up at school, unexpected, it means one of two things. Either somebody close to you has been seriously injured, or died, or you're in trouble. My immediate reaction, please don't let anybody be dead. I think of dad, Brett, uncles, aunts, cousins, could be any of them. Alive and kicking this morning, now stiff and cold, tongue sticking out, a slab of dead meat just waiting to be buried. I remember Gran's funeral, the open coffin, her shining flesh, having to kiss her forehead, the pain. The tears. Please don't let anyone be dead. Please, 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 please. Then I see Mum's face, white with rage, and I know she's here to punish, not comfort. I groan, roll my eyes and mutter under my breath, Bring on the corpses. The head's office, me, Mum, and Mr. Donnellan. Mum's ranting and raving about cigarettes. I've been seen smoking behind the bike shed, <laughs> the oldest cliché in the book. She wants to know if the head's aware of this, of what the pupils in his school are getting up to. I feel a bit sorry for Mr. Donnellan. He has to sit there, looking like a schoolboy himself, shuffling his feet and saying he didn't know this was going on, and he'll launch an investigation and put a quick end to it. Liar. Of course he knew. Every school has a smoking area. That's life. Teachers don't approve, but they turn a blind eye most of the time. Certain kids smoke. Fact. Safer to have them smoking at school than sneaking off the grounds during breaks and at lunch. Mum knows that too. She must. She was young once, like she's always reminding me. Kids were no different in Mum's time. If she stopped for a minute and thought back, she'd see what a bloody embarrassment she's being. I wouldn't mind her having a go at me at home, but you don't march into school and start laying down the law in the headmaster's office. She's out of order, big time. But it's not like I can tell her, is it? I can't pipe up with, Oi, mother, you're disgracing us both, so shut your trap. I smirk at the thought. And of course, that's when mum pauses for the briefest of moments and catches me. What are you grinning at? She roars, and then she's off again. I'm smoking myself into an early grave. The school's responsible. What sort of a freak show is Mr. Dolan and running? la di la di la di la di la di la Boring! Her rant at school's nothing compared to the one I get at home. Screaming at the top of her lungs, blue bloody murder. She's going to send me off to boarding school. No, military school. See how I like that, having to get up at dawn each morning and do a hundred press-ups before breakfast. How does that sound? Is breakfast a fry-up or some cereally yogurty crap? Is my response. And I know the second it's out of my mouth that it's the wrong thing to say. 
This isn't the time for the famed Grubbs grade brand of cutting edge humor. Cue the enraged mum fireworks. Who do I think I am? Do I know how much they spend on me? What if I get kicked out of school? And the clincher, the one mums all over the world love pulling out of the hat? Just wait till your father gets home!